Saunternays. Saunternays. So do you, what do you, how do you want to do this? Do you want to talk about it or what do you want to do? Cause I don't want to like just overpower and you just sit there and look pretty. So what do you I, do? I, look pretty. I know you do. You look, <laughs> you look pretty exceptional to me. So. What's up everybody. Welcome to another edition. Blah, 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 blah. Welcome this, to the rendition. The rendition. <laughs> the, the next rendition of Strike That, Reverse That. What's everybody? What's up? What's everybody? <laughs> what what is can't, everybody? I can't do this tonight. What the crap? <laughs> What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of the Whiskey Whispers. I'm Kevin. I'm Nick. And tonight, we are going to try our hand at another Texas single malt whiskey. Uh, we've tried. Um, another one of these whiskeys before from Swift Distillery, and uh, so yeah, just to be clear, same distillery. Yep. Yes. Same distillery, just different cast type of whiskey. So, um, if you don't know anything about Swift Distillery, they're out of Texas, um, I believe near Austin uh, area, and it's a husband and wife and family owned business, and uh, they started out small and. It's starting to go everywhere. Uh, we found it at Total Wine uh, in Washington. In so. Washington, yep. Yeah. So uh, they're they're making their way, and um, they've learned their distillation process from master distillers from Scotland and France. And uh, it's it's actually pretty uh, pretty awesome to to read their story and and see what they do to put all that love and time into making this whiskey. So. Um, if you saw our last episode or our episode that we did the other bottle in this uh which was a white label and it was sherry casked um we actually rated it pretty high i believe when we did our very, ratings very one one out of five which we've changed our rating to one out of ten now if i were going to so. revert to the one to ten scale i probably would have rated it probably about an eight and a half nine like an eight yep. five, yeah yep sure. so and it's and they're, <laughs> they're solid so we're excited to try this i've been uh waiting to try this for a couple months now. I've been talking about it uh, with Nick, and so we're ready to dive into it. This is the um, twice distilled um, Sauternays cask finish, uh, single malt whiskey um, that they produce. And, uh, it's aged in bourbon barrels yep. and then uh, in the wine yep. barrel to, for the finish. So. And they use 100% Scottish barley uh, for their process, so. Um, so, it's great. A little, so it's a little pretentious too. Yeah, no, yeah, a little, <laughs> no, no the, uh, it's a great, great dis, uh, distillery company, great people, Nick and Amanda, uh, thanks for uh, all your support and uh, we'll dive right into this. Yeah, very pretty, you know, elegant looking, mm -hmm. simple, but very pretty. I like the almost copper orange um, color yeah. of the top here. And honestly, the it kind of reflects the color of the whiskey itself. Yeah, it's got a nice color too. Yeah, and they do use copper stills, right? Yep, they do. Yeah, yeah and you can actually follow Swift Distillery on Instagram too. So shout out to Swift. I've talked to them a couple times, and uh, they're they're great people. Cork smells good. Ooh, it actually smells kind of whiny. Mm-hmm. I was gonna kind of whiny. <laughs> it smells it smells, smells kind of whiny. <laughs> Actually, that, that smells really good. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, that's, I can smell the caramel in that too. It's got a freshness to it. Mm hmm. It sounds good coming out of the bottle. You right? Get a little glug, 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 glug. It would be really funny. <laughs> we troll people and be like, so how you know it's a really good whiskey is the way it sounds when you pour it. When you, yeah. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it, you didn't hear the glug, glug, mm. so that's not a good whiskey. Not good. Yeah. That'd be horrible. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of got a sweetness to it. I'm getting like citrus and floral almost. As you can see, the color is actually a really nice uh, gold color, almost like an apple juice consistency color. It's got a good leg on it. Yeah, I don't know. I don't. It's light. I'll, I'll say that, but it's. It, it runs quickly, which may mean, in the tra it, it is not particularly transparent. But yeah, almost golden honey mm -hmm. um, kind of color to it. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm thinking because it runs so quickly, uh, it might not be as um, robust on the mouth. Sure, but yeah, I agree. If the taste of their last one was anything about taste, really good. Yeah, yeah, because the last one was, it was fantastic. So I've got high expectations. Yeah, I'm getting a lot of citrus and floral mm -hmm. notes and honey. Yeah, 
honey and, and I'm getting that vanilla smell too, like a, like a spicy vanilla. All right, it smells let's very, try it. It's very refreshing. Cheers. It's very unique. Yeah. Very unique flavor. It has a little bit of a spice to it in the in the in the mouth, but it's not a it's not a burn. It just it just lets you know that there's a, a nice warmth there. I am getting uh, that vanilla spice, and maybe that's where the warmth is coming from, and that floral note. It's very light. Mm-hmm. And it's crisp. Very fresh mm -hmm. tasting. And yeah, I'm almost getting acidity of lemon or mm -hmm. something. Yeah. It's it's just a very bright whiskey. Yeah. And I really like it. Yeah. It's definitely different. It's not as if you're more like a hearty, like almost kicksy in the mouth kind of thing, this probably isn't your whiskey. But if you're looking for something that's almost refreshing, mm -hmm. this is absolutely a good choice for sure. And at the back of the, the palate, I'm getting, picking up that, that wine cask taste. It's subtle, but it's there. Yeah, it's kind of, this is like the French Riviera of whiskey. Oh uh, yeah, yeah and, and I know that uh, from uh, Swift Distillery's website, they did hand pick these casks and uh, I know when Nick told me that uh, not this Nick the other Nick uh, told me uh, that uh, they actually went to France um, they actually ordered some of those barrels so yeah this is this is pretty good okay it's got a nice honey sweetness to yep. it absolutely it's good definitely different than your average whiskey like mm -hmm. if I gave this to someone who sort of had like a pre-notioned idea in their head of what whiskey may be then I think this might surprise them. So. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So if you were gonna rate this a one out of 10, 10 being the best, what would you rate this? It's really good. Um, it's so different, it's hard to, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, gonna give it an, an 8.5. Okay. I'm gonna give it an 8.5. Uh -huh. it's, it's as good as their last bottle and in some ways, not that I like it more or less, I just like it differently. Mm -hmm. it doesn't seem like you can go wrong with picking any from, anything from Swift Distilleries. Yeah, for me, the the nose, the mouth, and the palate, and and even the finish is pretty pretty crisp and very well thought out. I'm gonna give this an eight five as well, which is is still pretty high very and nice. very and very warranted for this. So yeah, I'm I'm pretty excited to to try some more of this, and uh, I definitely highly recommend. Um, let us know what what you think of this because you know this is just our opinion, so we want to know what you think. So like and subscribe to our channel and comment down below. Any Texans out there who yep. ever had this, feel free to find our channel and comment. Absolutely. <laughs> you know, they, they honestly said they, they weren't sure how, how far this was gonna go. And when they heard from us from Washington that it was up here, they were pretty excited. Yep. So thank you. And uh, I think that's gonna do it for us on this episode. Here's to your next whiskey adventure. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah, that's good. Mm -hmm. Nice job.